Yo guys, so look, I'm gonna be straight up and honest. Uh, I forgot to film the intro to this video. So this video is probably gonna be one of the most frustrating videos of mine that you'll ever watch because I'm trying to diagnose the, the wheel shake or the car shake. And uh, this happened after I put the wheels and the spacers and the studs on. And the shop that did put all that on gave no shits to figure out why. They did no diagnosing. They just took the wheels off a couple times, took the spacers off. They, they, they literally just did the bare minimum to just get me out of the shop. And uh, they rebalanced them once, which kind of fixed it, but didn't completely fix it. Anyways, the whole point of this video is to try and diagnose why my front end is shaking violently uh, from 75 miles per hour and up. So hopefully uh, you guys enjoy this one and learn something from it because well, I sure did. So I'm out driving right now, it's like 10.30 at night and I swapped my old wheels just in the front. I put the old wheels in the front and I'm taking the car for a spin to figure out if the wheels needed to be rebalanced or not. And interestingly enough, even with the old wheels, it's still shaking at like 70, 75, 80, 85. So that leads me to believe it's either the spacers or the wheel studs. So I have to do another test. Maybe I'll take the spacers off and try and then kind of go from there. So I determined that it's probably not the wheels or a wheel balancing issue because I just put these on and went for a spin and basically it was doing the same thing. It was vibrating starting at about 70 mi 75 miles per hour all the way up until infinity essentially. So the next game plan would be to take the spacers off and see if that's the problem or it's the wheel studs that's the problem. So it's one of those two things. Um, I'm just gonna make sure that the hub is cleaned like when I take the spacers off. So it's pretty late right now, but I'm gonna wake up tomorrow and before I take, I was gonna take the wheels to uh, America's Tire and get them rebalanced because I thought maybe that was the issue but it's not, so I'm gonna take the spacers off tomorrow, I'll go for another cruise and see if it's the spacers. If it's not the spacers, then the wheel studs, or maybe the hub isn't cleaned enough, so I'm gonna buy a wire brush and maybe clean the hub. So uh, we'll see. Dude, if it's the spacers, I'm gonna be pissed because like I bought this offset specifically to add spacers to get it to be flush. So I don't know, like, I'll look online and see if people have had bad spacers before or is this a normal thing that happens but man I really hope it's not the spacers. So as I took the front wheel off I noticed there's some Loctite I believe that's what that is that needs to be cleaned off that could be the cause of the problem so I'm going to clean that off and see if uh, it does anything. All right that's looking a lot better. All right, so another thing people said was that you should torque the wheels as they're in the air. And here's a little trick for you if you don't have a partner. So yeah, that wheel's not going anywhere. I should be able to do that. So here's the passenger side. We got some Loctite right there, Loctite right there. And this could be the culprit. I really hope it is. And it's just a shame how careless some of these shops are and then they wonder why i'm complaining my uh my car's vibrating after the install okay much cleaner no more loctite on the hub so we're gonna put everything back on and go for a test spin and see if that was the problem all right dude this is the moment i've been waiting for i'm gonna go for a ride i'm gonna jump on the highway get this baby up to 80 and either i'm gonna be disappointed again or i'm gonna be the happiest man alive because i'm getting tired of this <laughs> All right, I'm gonna check back once I get to the highway. All right, so the verdict is it got a little bit better. Definitely noticeably better, but after 80 miles an hour, it still definitely shakes. Uh, more so when you let off the gas, it's probably still there when I'm flooring it as well, but I notice it more when I let off the gas. I think the next thing that I'll do is I'll probably take off the back wheels, inspect the hubs, clean them. Maybe it could be coming from there. And then if that doesn't solve the trick, then I'll have to take the spacers off. Uh, maybe just in the front and see if it still does not Just kind of like take this step by step. This is kind of a pain in the ass. I don't know, I'm kind of picky and I want things to, to feel good and feel stable when I'm going, you know, at high speeds. So 
all right until next time here we go day three we're gonna try and figure this one out so today i decided that i want to see if i can just narrow it down to if the problem is in the front because that's where i feel it the most so i'm gonna take off the spacers in the front pop everything back on go for a spin and see if that's it if it's still shaking then it must be the wheels uh they haven't been balanced properly so i'm gonna go do that right now and god i'm really hoping this is the solution man because this is driving me nuts <laughs> This right here is a must buy. I think this was like 23 bucks. It's a torque wrench from uh, Harbor Freight. And um, you don't need the fancy electronic ones. This is perfect. This goes from, from 10 to 150 foot pounds. So this is exactly what you need. Okay, spacers are off. We're gonna go for a ride and see what happens. I've said that a billion times. But I feel like I keep making <laughs> the same video over and over. <laughs> this is uh, quite the process to diagnose a wheel shake. Um, yeah, hopefully somebody finds this helpful. We are going to find out right now, ladies and gentlemen. Is it the spacers? Is it not the spacers? What the hell is going on with my brand new wheels? Dude, I should be enjoying my car right now in the canyons. But instead, I am over here diagnosing my own wheels because the shop who installed them didn't want to do it. When a shop does that, you don't go back to the shop. You find a new shop. It's hella traffic right now. All right, so took it for a spin. Of course, it's still shaking. So now I'm gonna take the rear spacers off and see if it's a spacer thing. That way I can say, okay, it's not the spacers. So I'm gonna try that and then we're gonna go from there. So interestingly enough, I take off the back wheels, right? What? what yeah that's a problem <laughs> what the heck bro first of all there's a big strip that's missing these are gonna have to be taken tomorrow to get rebalanced oh my god insane okay so that was a curveball for sure i was not expecting to see all the weights off the back wheel um that could have been the problem but now what that means is I got to take all the wheels back to uh, America's Tire and I'm just going to get them all road force balanced because they weren't road force balanced to begin with. So we're not quite done yet. We still got a lot to do. And uh, yeah. Also the crappy thing with America's Tire is that they won't work on your car if you have uh, wheel studs and spacers. So like that forces me to take off the wheels on the car, put them in the uh, Volkswagen, take them there, come back take everything in and out I mean, it's it's a, it's a pain in the butt i'm maybe gonna get extended wheel lugs just to solve that problem but i don't know hey welcome back so today is the day three day four i have no idea this is this is taking way too long to figure out but as you can see right there uh we had an issue with some weights that had fallen out from the driver's rear uh, wheel so i took the wheel to america's tire to get them rebalanced and I'm hoping that is what was maybe causing the shake because I don't know for how long the, the wheel weights had fallen off for. So I'm going to put the rear wheel back on and go for a spin. There's no spacers on the front, just fives in the back. And I'm going to just pay attention to see if it's still shaking. If it's still shaking, I'd imagine maybe the front two wheels need to be rebalanced, but we'll see. So what I do find interesting is they put the weights on the inside this time. And this one is just kind of like just chilling right on the edge so we'll see how long that one lasts but all the previous ones were right there now they're there and there so that's going to be interesting we'll see how long that lasts all right guys so before i tell you the good news excuse all the brake dust but this is the front passenger uh wheel so we have some weights here we have some weights here and i don't know if you can see but in the back there's another row of weights yep so that leads me to one thing 
and that is i think all these wheels need to be rebalanced so the reason i'm saying that is because i just took the car for a spin and let's say that the shaking if 10 was the worst shaking ever let's say the shaking was at about like an eight so it's pretty pretty wild shaking so after getting that rear wheel rebalanced it went from an eight to probably a 1.5 i almost couldn't notice it but since i'm a little ocd i could notice it there's a tiny bit of front end shake so here's what i'm thinking i mean you saw based on where they put the weights uh previously and where they put them now they're, they're in completely different spots um so i'm thinking that they all the wheels need to be road force balance because the shop that did them before aka speed logic they they didn't road force balance them they just did a basic balance and i think that just shows and the fronts definitely need to be road force balance and then the the rear passenger should be road force balanced as well so my thought process now is like i can't trust that all the wheels are balanced properly based on that rear wheel so my idea now there's two ways i can go about this i can put the front spacers on and then try to drive the car and see if the shaking gets worse then i can conclude that the wheels are just off balance and the spacers are exaggerating the problem or i can just go and get the rest of the three wheels rebalanced road force balanced put the spacers on and then see what happens from there and if it's shaking then then you could probably argue that it's either the front spacers are they haven't been manufactured properly i mean i clean those hubs like perfectly so i i don't think it's a, an installation issue and, and as you saw i am torquing these things in the air uh, and then rechecking them as it's on the ground so i i would only imagine that it's because of the balancing and the fact that just rebalancing that back wheel made such a difference leads me to believe that maybe they all need to be rebalanced so i'm gonna save that for another video and you guys will just have to follow back uh, i don't have the time to do that now and I won't because it's a holiday weekend. So I'm going to do that hopefully next week and come with a follow-up video so we can kind of get to the bottom of this. You could call it done. You know, you could say that, all right, it, it's it's like a 1.5 out of 10, Juna, you know, uh, you can't have it perfect. But I think it can be because that's how it was with the OEM wheels. So I'm, I'm shooting for perfection. Uh, I want it to be perfect. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks again. Hit the like, subscribe. Wish me luck and I'll see you guys in the next one.